the Eagle Tree Vector Return to Home test. And I'm doing this test with the Cinetank MK1, which is a quadcopter. And I take that out about 550 feet and I'm going to test out the Return to Home setting, uh, which is the default setting for the Eagle Tree Vector, just to show right out of the box what you can do with a similar quad. This is about a 450 sized quad. So I'm in 2D hold mode and I'm going to flip a switch on my radio as you see on the top of the screen and that's going to kick it into its return to home test. For the default here it's going to come back home at about 60 feet but you can change the speed at which it comes back as well as the altitude and a number of other parameters uh, that are listed under the return to home uh, option menu in the on-screen display. The rectangles that you're going to see coming up on the ground, uh, the larger of the two on the right is where I took off from, and that's where the craft is trying to get back home to. It uses your GPS coordinates from the home position to bring it back home without any control over the controller. So I'm completely off the sticks right now. As it approaches others and people in the area, I do alert them to let them know you want to be safe when you're not on the sticks. And the beauty is, as it says on screen, if I move the sticks, that's going to cancel. But in this case, I'm simulating, for instance, uh, losing a radio link and not having the ability to move the sticks. The auto land feature is set, and that's essentially what it's trying to do, is find that rectangle that it took off from and land. Once it lands, it's going to shut itself down. So you can see it landed basically on this uh, door frame that we use out there that I took off from and about a foot and a half away from where it took off. So even though I've turned direction and flew out, it knew where to go, came back, landed itself. 